Okay, so for this one, we're going to look at um, dehydration and um, how to turn this into um, a fluid deficit replacement. So in this question, we have a 35 kilogram dog that we think is 7% dehydrated and uh, we need to replace that de deficit over 24 hours along with keeping up with his maintenance rate um, to keep him hydrated while he's not eating and drinking. So his maintenance rate is 60 mils per kg for 24 hours. Um, so we need to know what is the IV fluid rate for these total amount of fluids to replace his dehydration and keep up his maintenance. Um, and then what would the drift rate be? So first, um, percent is uh, in the name. I have this written out, but um, uh, percent equals um, per 100. So cent means 100. So this is always going to be per 100 something. Um, when we're talking about um, weight and kilograms um, in terms of medication and um, dog and cat weights, it's always going to be grams over 100 mils for um, medication. And when we're talking about dehydration, um, we just have to turn the percent into the decimal. So... 7% would equal um, 7 divided by 100, so the percent. So that's going to equal 0 0.07. Um, and this is actually liters. So if we times a 35 kilogram dog times 0 0.07, which is 7%, um, we're going to get uh 2.45 so 2.45 is liters and that's where i think a lot of people go wrong so this 2.45 liters um into milliliters is going to be times a thousand because there's a thousand mils per liter so this actually equals 200 and or sorry 2450 mils so that's his deficit um, his maintenance rate is 35 kilograms times 60 mils in 24 hours. So 35 times 60 equals 2100. So that's how many mils we need in 24 hours. Um, and we want to replace the total fluid deficit over 24 hours. So we need to add those together. So 2,450 plus 2,100, uh, that equals 4,550 mils over 24 hours. Um, so that's what we need to do for the total fluid rate. To, this number divided by 24 equals 189.58 but we're just gonna say 190 mils per hour. So now we have the fluid rate that this dog needs to be on over the next 24 hours that will replace this 7% dehydration and keep him hydrated at this rate here, which is a normal maintenance fluid rate. Um, so what would this rate be in um, drips per um, second or minute? Um, we're gonna do both. Uh, so 190 mils, um, we'll do it in the long way, the dimensional analysis, because I actually do think this makes more sense this way. So let's move this up. Um, 190 mils per hour. And then if you just work through it logically, it will make more sense. Um, so hour is down here. We need need hour to be up here so it's always going to be um, opposite from each other so this is one hour that's one hour um, our goal is to get this into um, drips per minute so there are 60 minutes in one hour um, times now we need minute to be up here um, we already have our one minute so we can leave this here um, so the next one is going to be turning mills into drips. Uh, we know that we have a 10 drip per mill set. So, um, again, 
This is 10 drops per mil. Mil is up here. We know we want mil down here so that they're opposite each other. So logically, the drift will have to go up here. Um, so when we do this, um, it equals something that doesn't make sense, but so 190 times one hour over 60 minutes. So divide by 60. And then times 10. So this equals 31.66. And you can cross these out so you know where you're standing. So mill gets crossed out, hour gets crossed out. Um, actually, minute shouldn't be crossed out because this is what we need. And drop. So we're down to... 31.66 drops per minute. Um, that doesn't really make sense. We're going to round it up to 32, but that's really hard to count. So it's easier if you try to, um, in real life, make this something that you can actually count. So I usually suggest trying to um, divide this by four because that will give you how many drops you need in 15 seconds because... Um, in one minute, there are 60 seconds, and dividing 60 by 4 equals 15. So that's 15 seconds. So 32 divided by 4 is 8. So that's a nice whole number. This is now going to be 8 drops per 15 seconds. Um, so that's something that you can actually have um, like your timer right in front of you while you're watching the drops that you can actually do properly. Um, you can also do it a different way, um, which would be 32 divided by 60. So this gets it down from um, drops per minute to drops per second. So take it over here, 32 drops per minute. Um, we're going to divide that by 60 um, because there are 60 seconds in one minute. And put the minute up here. So that equals 0.53 drops per second. Um, you also can't do that. You can't look at half a drop. So you can see here that 0.5 is really close to half a drop. Um, so obviously, logically, timesing this by 2 is going to give you one drop every two seconds. So that's even easier to do than this is. It's not what the question asks, but um, it's just something you can think of logically. We have had power outages before where you do have to figure this out and use it. Um, there's a couple reasons. If you run out of pumps, you have too many animals in the hospital um, and you need to be able to deliver fluids to a dog. Um, and one of the more common reasons, at least where I work, is a lot of doctors won't put blood products through syringe pumps or um, IV fluid pumps because they have been known to lyse the red blood cells um, just going through the pump mechanism. So I've had doctors force me to give blood products um, through just a drip set so there's no squeezing or lysing of the cells. So then I do have to figure this out, and I've had to do that several times over my career. Um, so this can be really helpful to bring it down to something like one drop every two seconds.